Hey guys, if you don't already know me, I'm Fahim Saleh, the CEO of Gokata. Uh, I know I've been a little bit quiet uh, as of recent events um, with the motorcycle transport ban in Lagos, but I've been trying to process it and, and figure out how I exactly want to uh, speak on the topic. I mean, uh, it's tough for an entrepreneur who's trying to innovate, who's investing his own money, when this is not my country. It's, it's a country that I, I feel has amazing potential and has amazing people. And they just need the opportunity to shine. And the drivers that were at Gokata, every one of them wasn't there because they just wanted to make money. They were there because they had families. They had children, they had dreams. They wanted to start businesses. They wanted to go to school. They had degrees already, but they couldn't find jobs. For many, Gokata wasn't the final place for their lives. It was a stepping stone to get to that next endeavor. And we were hoping that a lot of these drivers wouldn't be drivers forever. We were hoping that we could place them in higher jobs within Gokata and create a, a, a beautiful community which was developing slowly and 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 it, it, it was it was really something that moved me to the point where I was okay putting all my money and all my effort in what I'll tell you is that Gokata is not just a business to me it's a mission and Every part of that mission was always being safe, providing jobs. We had, we do things that nobody else did in the market at the time. We provided helmets that were DOT certified, Department of Transportation certified, US Department of Transportation certified, which means that if you get in a motorcycle accident with that helmet, that you are protected. We put Bluetooth on our helmets so drivers did not use their phones while they're on their motorcycle so they could get directions through their Bluetooth headsets. We provided drivers with these high-end bikes that were 200 cc's and we maintained the bikes because a bike that is not well maintained could and is more likely to get in an accident. We trained our drivers extensively and we monitored drivers through technology, as I said earlier, to understand which ones were the bad ones and eliminate them immediately. All this resulted in an accident rate that was well below 0.1%. Actually, since we relaunched in September 2019, we've had about 250 accidents, mostly minor, out of the 350,000 or so rides that we've given. I will tell you, our drivers are safe. I will tell you, we will show you the records to show our drivers are safe. And every day, our priority is not how much money we're earning, it's how do we make our service safer. You know, as an entrepreneur, I'm never gonna give up because that's the true attribute of an entrepreneur, never giving up. But this has definitely been a blow. Um, entrepreneurs are the ones that really change countries, that really change cities. They're the ones who bring the vision. They're the ones who bring the passion. They're the ones who bring people together to make amazing things happen. So Lagos, if you want amazing things to happen, support your entrepreneurs. Support these great innovative businesses that are seeking to change Lagos. If not for Gokata, for the next Gokata, and for the one after that. Thank you.